What is up, Division 2 agents? This is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 video. Now, in. Oh my word! Would you look at this dude? 40,000 shade level. Wow, that's the highest I've ever seen. Sneaky. What? Stab a lot? Wow, what is a 40,000 shade level person wearing? Huh. Okay, so you have an Eclipse build. Cool. Wow, that... That's a lot. Now, this dude is definitely gonna be ready for the new update. And that is exactly what this video is all about. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, basically the things that I'm doing... Okay, first of all... We'll go over what happened with the PTS. I had some builds uh, that I had got ready. I, my expertise, I got my expertise level just about all the way up. Took forever to do that. So I was about to drop those build videos in PTS 2, phase two, but then I got a message from another division game uh, for testing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put these build videos on the back burner and I need to jump into this testing, you know? So I was gonna wait till phase three of the PTS to go ahead and go over all the builds, the new guns, all that stuff. Basically when phase three came out, they completely wiped everything. So all the, your expertise is back down to zero. All of your gear, your builds, whatever you had is gone. And you couldn't even use the Heartbreaker or the Catharsis mask, which were, you know, some of the main things that I was going to be showcasing. So they wouldn't even allow, they didn't allow us to use those in the game because apparently they were causing deltas. Long story short, it's going to have to wait to the live game before I go over all of that stuff because I did not feel like doing all of that expertise level stuff over. Even mind the caches at the vendor and coming back where you can get max material every time, it still took more than half of a day in just sitting at that expertise table, grinding those levels out. Wasn't going to do that again. But what I'm doing in the meantime is running characters through Warlords of New York. Now, I just ran this character through Warlords. This is my fourth character. If you do not have multiple characters, I would recommend getting multiple characters because your left shade watch level is shared with all of your characters. So once you run them through New York, take out Keener and unlock your watch, you're going to have all of your points on your new character and every single point is going to go to your scavenging. So you can see I'm at 4100 Shea level. My scavenging after I ran this character through Warlords is at 3300, almost 3400. So basically what I'm doing, I'm running my fourth character through Warlords over and over and over and over, and I'm just stacking all of these. So how, are you, how do you stack them? Because the max is 1500. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna max all of these out before, let's go over here and I'll show you, before buying the account shared blueprint, blueprints. Uh, all the account shared stuff, account shared materials. So when you buy these, all of your materials, blueprints, all of that stuff is going to be shared throughout all of your characters. So what you wanna do is max all of your stuff out before you buy the account shared materials because if you are at max materials, it's going to stack the materials that you have with the materials that all of your other characters already have. So I'm just continuously stacking. This is my, I believe it's my, like I said, my fourth time running it. So once I max all of these out, then I should be, well, I think sitting at 6,000. We'll see. I'm just gonna go ahead and max all these out real fast. And I'll be right back. All right, so I have it maxed out. Go ahead and take a look at that. Now I did use, um, basically use my points to do this. Normally what I would recommend doing, uh, if you want to, I mean, if you're like me and you're just 
running your fourth character through warlords over and over I guess it really doesn't matter but I do like to get as many materials as possible going on like a, a material run like if you go throughout this area here you will find a lot of material so I like to go uh, all the way through here you know up and around here but for the sake of the video I just went ahead and used my points so you can see we are maxed out on everything 1500 305 with both of these so let's go ahead and buy buy this count your blueprints there we go okay so now you will see that my materials are now 6,000 is what I have so far on them so I have 6,000 on these, 1,200 here, 1,500. Uh, so you can basically see what I'm doing. I'm just stacking my materials just so I can have as many as possible when the new update comes. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do with the rest of my points is get your your gun, all of your guns, the materials for your guns and your gear maxed out. So 1,000 is max and that's one thing I forgot. So you can go over the max again the same way you can with your materials. Just uh, before you buy the blueprint to share with all of your characters, just buy you know the cheapest whatever you're you're buying whatever gun. If it's an SMG, find the cheapest SMG and just buy it over and over and deconstruct and all that good stuff. And you can get your materials max and you can get them over max. Obviously, you see here I have a 1200, 1184 here, 1117. So you can go over max like that as well. Unfortunately, I forgot to do that. So, and then, if, and then my receiver components and protective fabric is over the max. And again, doing all of this is, you know, it's just gonna help with, when we get into the next update, obviously you wanna have materials and stuff for all of the new weapons, all of the new gear that we're gonna be getting to get it, you know, if you don't, if you don't get a completely god rolled, you can optimize it until it's god rolled. So that's that's what all this is going to help with. And then of course the material, the regular materials is going to help with the expertise system as well. So yeah, that's one thing I would recommend is getting multiple characters if you have not done that already. So yeah, that is what this video is about. I hope you guys found some value out of it. If you did, please. Hook a brother up with a like on the video, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And when that new update comes out, be expecting a lot of build videos from me. It's it's a bit stale right now, you know, obviously. So hopefully that the update will be out sooner than later. Anyway, so that's all I've got. Hope everyone's doing good, staying safe out there. And as always, my friends on YouTube, take it easy.